<laughs> you see that, My Uncle Bull Cow? <laughs> Uncle Bull Cow in the building, Mrs. Bull Cow, upon my left hand side. Look at the size of these things. Those are massive dragon's breaths right there. Grown by my man Chase, Colfax, Pepper Patch. Holler at him. How Which, high do you think this means? They're supposed to be the hottest pepper in the world, but then some people say the Primitalia is, other people say, we say the Hellhammer is. But anyways. Why are you, why are you I'll give you the are smaller you one. Are you going to try to eat the whole thing? I don't know how much I'm going to eat. <laughs> Dragon's Breath, Colfax, Pepper Patch. This, this is not, big. This is not going to be fun. You got to eat the whole thing now. No, I do not. Chase said, Chase said, this is for your wife. Tell her eat the whole thing. Oh, I, I told him you'd eat the whole thing, so. Since it's for Chase, I'll eat the whole damn thing. I'm not doing it for you. <laughs> I don't want to advertise for it well. But. Go ahead. Why do you want? I'll try to eat the seeds. I can't promise you I can eat the seeds. I've been try. I've tried to practice eating seeds today with my food because I'm not used to it. Get it in you. It's already hot. I don't want to eat the whole thing. It's really hot. The flavor is on point. Go ahead. Eat more. <laughs> this is one of them red pods. It's probably one of the best red ones I've had. A lot of red ones are good. <sighs> this thing's just so damn big. It looks like it's on steroids. Ugh. Teeth. The seed stuck in my teeth. <clears throat> Go ahead, you're nursing it. Let me tell you something. I can't chew it so bad. Let me tell you something about Chase's peppers. I've ate small reapers that he's grown. I'm like, this isn't that bad. It's, it's a small one. And even his smallest reapers have been hotter than any big reaper I've ever had. Ah, uh, this has got my whole lips are burning. Tongue, of course, on fire. Starting to work its way back to the back of the throat. That's a scorcher right there, man. Ah. Uh, anyways, yeah, you should see his uh, his pepper garden. I seen it in the beginning of the season, and man, he gets really good sunlight, really good spot to grow, and uh, he knows what he's doing. He knows how to grow peppers. I mean, other people said it. They said that's hotter than. And he's this in our backyard. This. Yep. Yeah, good for us. He's right down the road. I'll show you some stuff I grabbed from him just now. This is a really hot one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is just some of them. <laughs> but we got. Holy mackerel. This is a mix of some huge ghost peppers. Look at the size of them ghosts in there. Huge ghost, dragon's breath. All kinds of horror going on in that mixed red bag. And then, hold on, let me move this. There's I need horror to in my mouth. Chew that sound of a gun out. You can get that placenta in you. I want to fire right now. My ears are starting to burn. Give me a give me a, a fork and a plate. I want to get the seeds off and then eat the placenta. If I can't, I do not want to eat them seeds. Uh, There's nothing I hate more than seeds. That's a similar one. Not a fork. Here. Be careful. Don't flick them in my eyes. <laughs> I don't got glasses on like she does. All right, so you guys seen the reds? That's some dragon breath and some humongous ghost peppers. Let me just pull one of these ghost peppers out and show them. 
Look how massive that is. They're nice and firm. Huge ghosts. And they're very hot for ghosts, too. Then, in this bag, these are scorpions. Or they're dragon's breath scorpion mixes. I don't remember. Or the, but these, I think these are just red, red scorps. Nice, firm. Then, Reapers. The classic Carolina Reaper. I told you guys, he grows some hot Reapers, man. Ridiculously hot. Then this, there's, I don't know what that is. There's a couple of red peppers in here, but this is Ahi Lemon Drops. I believe this is Ahi Lemon and Ahi Pineapple right there. A ton of those. There so she I took goes. the seeds off. I'm going to eat the placenta. And a little bit of the placenta fell off. I'm going to eat that too. Get it in. Good try. And then what we got I'm not here. used to eating placentas because I didn't even know that's where all the heat was. I haven't been eating a pepper for that long. Then this is a bunch of chocolate. And I just can't stand the freaking seeds, so I did I never thought about just getting the seeds off. Chocolate ghosts, chocolate bootless, chocolate scorpions. This is a big old bag of chocolate. I learned that that's where the heat was last night. This is what I use for my steak sauce and even my barbecue sauce. Look at those bad boys. That's at least a pound, probably a pound right there. Then this. I'm gonna find out. Is a mixture of yellow nagas. Some peach ghosts. It's a, yeah, some peach ghosts in yeah, there. Yeah, that's a rough one. I've already drooled a little bit. Beautiful yellow nagas. Look at that. These are my one of my favorite peppers. For making sauce, they're one of the best. That was then it tasted good. I'm some gonna have to start taking seeds more off of this stuff more often. I mean, obviously it's hot, but the flavor was good. And then these little bombs right here. These are those peach peppers we we're telling you guys about that nobody on the internet can positively ID. These were marked as peach bonnets, but they are not. Peach bonnets have. Is not? Is that the one? I don't the remember. The one that fooled us. We bit into it and it lit us up. These are very citrusy. I remember fruity. that. It's hot enough to remember. They have way better flavor than a bonnet of any kind, and they way more heat. Are way hotter. And like these right here, four nobody, times hotter or something. I don't know. It's way more. Hot. I mean, nobody I knows what these are. They're not a peach star kissed. <clears throat> They're not a, a, a. What's the other one? Whatever. They're not a peach bonnet. Nobody knows what these peppers are. If you know, comment below. This pepper <clears throat> that I just ate. I don't. There's nothing about the flavor that I just like, and I'm. Sometimes I'm really picky. Yeah, it's not this bad at all. Good. There's very, there's very little it's floral hot. for for yeah, and that's a that's a hot pepper. I don't it's, know what hotness it is. It's good. It's gonna be building, so I'll let you know at the end of the video. It's hot. Let me tell you that. My it's whole a, tongue hurts. The thing is, it's a mostly my tongue. Very front, my frontal burn, and uh, my throat a little bit. It's a very frontal burn, and it's a very and it's hit my stomach. Um, quick burn. And my lips are a little bit tink, a little bit got too. I'm feeling in the back of my throat more now. But yeah, my foot, my my tongue is on fire. You want to eat a chocolate bootler right now? Well, then I can't directly review the pepper, which usually happens <laughs> anyways. Because we do. These I think I'm done. Back back. I, I think I'm done eating chocolate pods for the season. I think I'm gonna. I'm end. tired of doing these damn videos because. I told him I shouldn't even be doing these videos. We might as well just be doing, comp like, I'm gonna eat four pepper video, you know, video because We're gonna we've been eating them back to back to back to back, and it's not really an accurate review. And it's like eating just tons of pepper. So I mean, we're gonna compete tomorrow night. Me versus her, ten peppers each. We're gonna put all ten peppers in what, our mouth at the same point? time. It's not like you're gonna win. We mean all ten peppers in your mouth at the same time. How? Are you gonna? Are you gonna like blend it up? Perry Perry's. Blend it up. <laughs> oh, the little ones. <clears throat> if we blended them up, we could drink it. That would be a good competition. I've never even seen anybody do that. No, let me tell you something. There's two I Russian. I mean, like five Reapers and go, uh. No, there's two Russian guys I've seen. I think they're Russian. That they juiced Carolina Reapers and drank the juice, and they were done. It instantly were throwing up and, and, and well, I'm not saying I want a hundred. 
They yeah. probably, I mean, to juice them, to get a significant amount of juice, it would be, have to be a lot. I just want to. I, wanna, I mean, I couldn't even finish like that pepper a, just now. I, I'm sorry. You know, juice, d d just demolish them so you don't ha have to chew them. You could take them in a shot, but I'm not trying to drink a juice. You know, but is that probably what they did, huh? I'm gonna try to do that. You still burning? I don't. I don't like puking. I mean, I've only puked like twice in my life, but I'm not trying to puke. But I need to push myself more because because I've only puked twice in my life, I can probably get more peppers down than I realize, and never puke. Are you burning? I'm burning. I am. Um, I give this. Pe I give this pepper a nine and a half. Really? Because it's Ooh. incredibly hot. I stopped hot. eating it. I got it. It, it was such a bad it's phone burn. I, I took two my, big bikes, but my chest is feeling it. My stomach's feeling it. My lips, my tongue, my throat, the roof of my mouth. Like almost there's, every part. <laughs> I've never had. I never there. remember eating a pepper Ooh. where. Almost right every there. part of my body that usually gets one or the other, almost all of those parts are hot. You know what I mean? Like, usually you get the back of the throat or the stomach this one and is, the uh, front of the tongue. This but right now, every, everything. It's very everything. weird burn. It's, the only it's, thing I'm not getting that sometimes I do is this part of my mouth and my cheeks. But everything else that you can think of that you would associate with burns, I have it. Except my back of my throat is not as bad as it has been sometimes. It's it's it's, it's mild, the back of the throat one. But the tongue, or the chest, and the stomach, and the roof of my mouth very, are feeling it's it. A, like I said, it's a very frontal burn. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no, you're, you're fine. My lips are... My lips are almost numb from it. Um, Mine are too, yeah. I mean, it was it was a big pepper when I've been to it, you know. Well, it I definitely went, but I, I didn't even finish it, guys. I, and my I body. I'm, I'm sweating. I'm, I'm right. I never sweat. Yeah. I, had, very, I got a little bit of a nose thing going on, which doesn't happen often. But it was fun. It was fun pepper to eat. Yeah, and I'm surprised that it wasn't that far. You know, we, we've been getting dragon's breaths all summer from Chase. And uh, I cut one up and we, we, we just toothpicked it, just little slices of it. But, I, I you know, I didn't remember what, what it tasted like. But... Um, but I knew that I didn't hate it. Not the back of my throat is really on fire. I knew that, it, and I knew that it was a decent pepper, and I actually like that man. And I, I put them in my sauce. Um, you I know. might should give this one a nine. Yeah, I mean it's it's, it's, nine and a half, even it's though it's nine, freaking hot. It's a nine all day. I don't know. I, the reason I want to give it a nine and a half is because I, I don't ever I get every part of my body that I was talking about. See, and I think I almost never get my lips burning. The dragon. I've breath, never felt it in my chest before. The dragon. And I usually breath, don't get it in my stomach. The dragon's breath is very unstable on on heat. Like there could be, you could get one that's this big. That's two million Scoville units. You can get one that's this big. That's one point three. Um. So there's, but I mean the Reaper's the same way. The Reaper's like that, like that with the Scoville. There's. You know, I think I think Ed said they're averaging out at 1.4 or 1.6 now. This is what you would call the, a clean heat. Very clean, like, yeah. Like, I don't... Some peppers I eat and I just... Very clean heat. ...feel miserable. This one, I'm just as it's on not, fire. It's not that floral. But I don't feel like... That's what I, I, I like something about disgusting, it. Which, I don't know how to explain what that means, but... It just feels like I ate a great pepper that lit me that up. Is, uh, man, that is a great sauce pepper right there. And I think people should... I, I think people... I, I think it's underrated, man. I mean, I know that it came out and there was a big deal and everyone was talking about it's the hottest pepper in the world and there was all this stuff. Um, you know, and I've seen people do reviews on it and whatnot, but I think it's still underrated. But guys, Colfax Pepper Patch, thinking. holler at them.